what I try to build my life around uh, is pursuit of excellence. I would call it relentless pursuit of excellence, uh, radical candor, and extreme productivity. These are the three things that I that I think about a lot. My third bucket, which I call extreme productivity, well, how do you get the time for all of that, right? Uh, if we all want to do everything, we want to balance work and life, which most of the time we are unable to, um, we want to be able to achieve so much. Right now, I have a lot going on and I, I'm probably at 10 to 12 hits a day. What does a hit mean? It means something that you are doing. Each hit is something that is important. In some cases, urgent and important, and that's a very important dis distinction to make. I try not to be involved in activities that are only urgent. And if I look at my day, maybe only one or two activities out of those, and I may not even call it a hit because it's not important, it's not a hit. So a hit is something that is important and it moves something that is important for the first bucket of results, achievement, all of that, non-incrementally. Not incrementally, non-incrementally. So, so let's take an, a couple of examples, right? Let's say I need to hire, help hire somebody for a portfolio company for a particular role. If I interview a candidate for that role, that's one hit. If I interview two candidates for that same role, I consider it one because I am still getting to that same single result and output. Uh, I could interview 10, but I'm, I've got only one hit. Now, if you start thinking about this, then you would say, wow, I should make sure that the, that I have done enough work that I interview only two or three for that one hit as opposed to 10 where I will lose my entire day or spend my entire day for that one hit. So that I, I, I practice that to an extreme and the way, for example, in this interview context, I would do it is I would make sure all the references for that are done prior. So I would really try to shrink the funnel of where my time is. With. So uh, I guess I can use the word ruthless, but I have a ruthless respect for time. I think if you don't respect time, you don't respect life. And if you don't respect time with your own time, you don't respect anybody else's. I treat time as the only thing that matters uh, and also recognizing that you have to enjoy that therefore uh, that moment that matters when you when you are in your you know the other part of the the work life balance side of it. So that would be one example of a hit if I have to do a coaching session with somebody internally that's another another hit uh, if I have to meet a new founder to evaluate a company that would be hit so in my work day. Uh, I try to pack in 8 to 10 at a minimum and therefore it really helps me go back to my original first principle of pursuit of excellence because to me I don't change, change I don't think anybody frankly can chase results as an end in itself. Um, I'm a big believer kind of the, the Dhoni principle of, of leadership which is focus on the process. Uh, focus relentlessly uh, on following the whatever best best judgment you have of the process that leads to results and the results will take care of themselves. My calendar is scheduled uh, in actually 15 minute increments but that doesn't mean the day is packed. There is also gaps left. Uh, the gaps are left for something that does show up as urgent and important and I need to do it. Uh, so I think this calendar, uh, calendaring is very important. I think preparation is very important. I often believe that people take far more time on something and you can take a meeting as an example uh, because they they go in unprepared. I try to, I, so in my view, a meeting that would normally take one hour, if I spend an extra 10 minutes preparing, I might finish in 30 and I'll gain overall 20 minutes. So as you can see, I really think in, increments of time and trying to see how, how can I create more time. I, I try to uh, tell my uh, tell people who work with me that my, my aspiration in life is to have infinite bandwidth. Whenever you need me, I'm there. Uh, and if that is possible to do for everything that's important, I think, uh, and if I don't fall down and die in the process, I think that would, that would be a great achievement. But one more ritual I have in my life uh, is this concept of a holy hour. So I, I, I really one of the biggest stress busters in my life is my children. I really enjoy my time with them. And it is not that I am doing it for them, I'm doing it for myself. Uh, they, they, they bring out the best in me.
but that's the only hour where I'm not accessible. I try to schedule all my work and calls either before that or you know, after 9 p.m. then I'll be on email, work calls, whatever for maybe three, four hours. 